Hey guys, Yusuf Crabsack here, and today I'm going to see if this small fly trap is better than this big fly stick. <laughs> traps are made by the same company, Rescue, and are both disposable. This small dude is about $5, while the big one is about $10, and I got both of these guys at Walmart. I've had good experiences with these types of disposable fly traps before. My only gripe is that they stink like all get out, and they are very nasty smelling. They're just terrible, but they get the job done very well. On the other hand, this fly stick says that it's odorless, which is kind of sussy if you think about it, because isn't the odor supposed to attract the insects and things like that? I don't know. It might work. It might not. So the way this thing's going to work is that I'm going to set these two fly traps up outside and check on them every uh, morning and each evening for three days and when three days is up I'm gonna see which one performed the best and deserves a yeah. And what I mean by performance, quote-unquote performance, is that I'm gonna see the condition of the fly traps after three days to see like what the weather did to them, how they're holding up still, then I'm going to check on how many bugs they've caught, what kinds of bugs, and overall just you know how good they look and how good they are yeah that's what i mean by performance oh yeah and if you're new here or new to the channel this is the first video you've watched from yusuf crabsack me um what i mean by giving it a yeah is at the end of each video the product i'm reviewing i give a yeah or nah so we'll see which one gets the yeah and which one gets the nah So, I have set up the fly traps. I have the fly stick right here, which, like it claims, is odorless. It's extremely sticky. The um, guards really help it from accidentally getting stuck in it, um, like your finger, because it is like really sticky glue, whatever they use. It's fairly odorless. It still smells a little bit, but then again, I am right by a trash can, like the fly traps uh, suggested to have the fly traps by. Um, the fly stick was not very hard to set up. It took a little bit longer, but it pretty much comes with everything you need. It comes with a string included, a little uh, zip tie or whatever. It comes with the guards, everything. It doesn't need any water, unlike the fly bag does. That needs water and also needs a string and, of course, something to hold on. Same with this. It needs something to hold on to. But um, <clears throat> the fly trap, the little bag, this one here, uh, you need to fill it up with water and cut the top off. Pretty simple, but it takes a little bit more, well, I wouldn't say time, but a little bit more effort than the fly stick. Um, but, I mean, you know, $5. There's a $5 difference between these two guys. I mean, kind of makes sense. A little bit of cheaper material than this, but, you know, it's kind of what you get, $5 cheaper. This, though, um, while mounting it, I had a slight little mishap. I accidentally dropped the fly bag and the water went everywhere and it is so nasty. It smells terrible. Um, so I refilled it and so it might have lost a little bit of its potency but I really doubt it because it sm still smells nasty. It smells like expired beer if that makes sense. Like it is terrible. This one on the other hand really doesn't smell that bad so I will check on these in the evening. I'll film ch me checking these. And uh, yeah, we'll see from there. So see you then. All right, guys, it is the evening of day one. And this, these are our traps. And um, 
This is the fly bag, and oh my goodness, it smells terrible. Way, way worse than I've ever smelled these things before. They're so nasty. And the worst part is, it's not even working that well. I mean, look, there's maybe, say, 15 by looking at it, just looking at it. And it, 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 it's almost not worth it for how bad it smells. And on the other hand, the fly stick here is has caught a ton of flies. Um, it has some yellow jackets in it. The bag doesn't. Um, it's caught tons of flies and um, it's completely odorless. And as you can see, this little dude, this uh, yellow jacket's still alive and he's just gonna rot away. And what's best is that cannibal or uh, yellow jackets are cannibals. So when a yellow jacket dies, another ye yellow jacket's gonna come along, try and pick up the body, and then get stuck to the glue trap. Oh, she's a fly right there. And that process will just happen again. Um, one of my leading theories so far though, is that the smell, the putrid smell from this bag is permeating and the flies are instead going to the fly stick instead of this. Um, the box says that the color also attracts the flies. So, I don't know, it's just a theory so far. Um, I don't know, everything could change tomorrow morning, and yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning for day two. Alright, see you guys then. Alright guys, it is day two, and it is the morning of day two. And these are the fly traps. The fly stick is doing impeccably good, if that makes sense. I don't think that fit right, but I'm just gonna go with it. Um, the outdoor fly trap smells so nasty. This bag one, just terrible. And um, it's caught a few, but nothing compared to the fly stick. And um, is it odorless? Let me take a little smell here. Um. It's starting to smell a bit, but I think I'm also smelling the fly bag, so when we take them down um, after three days, um, then I'll just smell this one by itself to see if this one actually just smells, or it's this, like, permeating around in the air. Because <laughs> honestly, for the putrid smell this is putting off, you'd think this would have tons of flies in there, but there's barely any. This one is doing just awesome like there's not many on this side but there's tons on this side so i don't know i will check this evening and yeah i'll see you then this is yusuf cat sack <laughs> it's, it's the play on words hi buddy you want to say hi to the camera yusuf yusuf hi bud Alright guys, it is day two evening time, and it smells terrible out here. This is the fly bag, it's doing fine. I'd say there's about 20 flies in it total, and one wasp, which is very good, very good. Um, but the fly stick doesn't have any wasps, it has a few yellow jackets. It's mostly flies and different types of flies, but I mean, just look at how much there is on this thing. Like, that is a lot of bugs, so... Clearly the fly stick is ahead of the fly bag, but everything could change in the morning of day three. And so I'll see you guys then. Yo, what's up, Yusuf? You came back in the evening. He always like, whenever I'm filming outside, he'll just come over here and just start like brushing up my against my legs. And this is Norma Jean. Hi, Norma Jean. Alright guys, it is the morning of day three, and it actually doesn't smell as bad as it did um, yesterday evening and the morning of yesterday. This is the fly bag. Um, I don't think it's caught too much more than... Oh, hi, Merle. Hi, Merle. Than um, yesterday evening. Um, same with the fly stick, really. I mean, it's got way more than the fly bag does. But it hasn't caught too much more than yesterday evening. So not really much is happening yet. I mean, it's probably caught a few more. It's definitely in the lead compared to the fly bag. But honestly, it's pretty much the same. So 
All right, everything could change this evening though. The final, the final evening. So, see you guys then. All right, guys, it is the evening of day three, and this is the fly bag. Um, it's got a good, good amount. It really stinks over here. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, while the fly stick, on the other hand, just look at how many bugs this thing has caught. That is insane way better than the fly bag that is for sure so i will go ahead and tomorrow afternoon i'm going to take these down um set them on my desk and check them out on camera and see which one is better and just by looking them at them obviously the fly, fly stick but things could change when i investigate Oh yeah, and I put up this um, fly trap that's specifically for yellow jackets, so it's a yellow jacket trap. It's caught some wasps, some yellow jackets, some June bugs, but mostly flies still. Um, all I can see the difference between this one and the other one that I'm reviewing is um, that it's just green instead of blue. That's all I can tell. Um, I put this up a day ago, and it has caught so many. Um, I have a fly bag here. But it has caught tons, so this one definitely is way better than this one, this fly bag. I highly recommend this over this if you're willing to spend the extra few bucks. Well, the extra five bucks, so. Hi, Yusuf. Alright, guys, it is the next day, and um, I'm outside by the fly traps. The reason being is because I went to take these down and transport them up into my studio, and I just realized there's no way in crap I'm going to take this stinky fly bag in the house and accidentally drop it, which I know I probably would, and get it everywhere on the floor, and it would stink for probably a year. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but at least two days probably. There's no way I'm doing that. So I'm outside, and I'm going to review them like this. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is how weathered these fly traps are. But the fly bag, it's honestly held up pretty well. I feel like it's slowly, like, getting saggier and saggier. Like, it's getting more elongated and, like, weak. So it's not about, it's not bursted yet, but I feel like sometime soon it might actually burst. On the other hand, the fly stick is still pretty good after three days i mean the stickiness is still there you can even see um the the space on the fly stick isn't completely filled up and the guards are still pretty they're pretty intact honestly the second thing we're going to be checking is what kind of bugs the traps have caught the fly trap the fly bag has caught you know mostly flies they just look like normal house flies i mean there's a few big ones i don't know what the specific name for the flies are so anybody in the comments who knows like what kind of names the different names there are for different flies let me know in the comments because like there's rainbow looking ones that got like a shiny butt and there's just normal ones and then there's like really small ones and really big ones well not that big but like that big and that big so let me know in the comments um then on the fly stick we actually have some yellow jackets here we got like just all different kinds of flies and aside from that that's pretty much it i think we had a few june bugs on here but again mostly flies i mean for goodness sakes they are fly traps so and the third and final thing we will be reviewing for these fly traps is their overall performance over the three days. Um, let's start off with the fly bag. The fly bag smelled more than really what it should have caught. You know, for how putrid this thing smells, you would have thought that it would have caught, you know, a solid amount of flies. And it's caught a little bit, maybe I'd say a hundred there, just guessing looking. Um, but really, it smells way worse than it ever should. And I don't think I've smelled one of these that bad before. Like, this was extraordinarily bad. On the other hand, we have the semi-odorless. It's not fully odorless. It's almost completely, not really. So, I'd say semi-odorless fly stick. We have tons of bugs, including yellow jackets, which we have a lot of problems over here in Oregon with, especially during the summer. Um, it's got probably 200 or so 
bugs on this thing with still room for more like plenty of room i'm probably gonna leave this up for another week probably because it's just so good the fly bag i'm probably gonna chop down because it just smells so bad it makes you want to puke and for five dollars more this dude's being five dollars and this dude being ten dollars you know i get it if you don't have ten dollars for your budget and fly traps yeah, I get the fly bag, but honestly, it's just more of a waste of money to get this and just go big or go home with this. This is going to catch way more, and it's not going to waste your time like this guy. I would give this dude a nah, probably a 5 out of 10, while this guy getting the yeah and getting probably a 8 or 9 out of 10. And that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments down below. And while you're there, uh, let me know experiences you have had in the past with fly traps. And what fly traps you would like me to review in the future. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And if you like mystery videos and reviews almost every two weeks, Make sure to subscribe. And alright, that's all for now. Stay cool and peace out.